hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello my name is Rashida and I am a stay-at-home work from home mom of four beautiful children we have Giselle who is eight Malachi who is five Nasir who is three and Naomi who is currently 10 months and here on this channel I like to provide you with all types of motivation we have cleaning motivation laundry motivation mommy motivation just motivation to help you get you through your day week month and year so if this is something that you're interested in please consider joining our family we would love to have you all you have to do is hit that subscribe button i promise you it is free and don't forget to turn your notification bell on so you will not miss an upload we have a lot of stuff coming up which i'm going to be explaining here in this video so for today's motivation i am giving you what i call a monthly reset now this is the first here on this channel i am used to giving you sunday resets where we prepare for the week but because april is right around the corner by the time you're seeing this it'll be april will be tomorrow <laughs> but we need to prepare for this month we need to prepare in general for the second quarter because the second quarter houses a lot for my family several birthdays several events several parties but we are just going to start off with april so we're going to be doing a monthly reset to prepare for april i'm going to be explaining some of the things that we have going on but of course you guys already know i need to give you this cleaning motivation first so I'm going to be cleaning up a few rooms. So we're starting off here in my living room. My house is not a complete disaster, but there are some things that's just out of order. So the things that we're going to be tackling today is the family room, which I'm in now. We're going to be doing the kitchen and then we're going to be doing our entryway. I'm not going to talk too much during this portion. I want you guys to enjoy the music. Go ahead and clean along with me or just enjoy the view. It's up to you. And then I will check back in with you guys when it's time to move on to our monthly reset. Yeah, yeah. 
tripping Cause I thought I could swim We break up every weekend I, 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 Was it gonna be like that? Oh, I just wanted you so bad Playing with my mind Was that your intention? Cause I'm missing you oh, Cause I'm missing you different I had to stop cleaning and actually do my hair because we have a lot coming up and I just don't want to walk, be walking around looking all crazy and I just needed something that would be you know a protective style something I don't have to like take care of every day because like I said we have a busy month coming up you just seen me clean a few rooms now we're gonna finish the rest of like my monthly reset. April is around the corner. When you're seeing this, it'll be the last day in March. But I am resetting for the whole month of April. It's a lot that's going on and I'm kinda of gonna explain it. Well, I'm not kinda of gonna explain it. I'm gonna explain everything that we got coming up. Part of this video is a plan with me because planning is part of my monthly reset. So, excuse her hair she's getting her hair washed today so i took all her little ponytails out to give her hair a break and it's going to get washed today but um i just want to take you a little bit into the planning side of things so what we have left to do i have a little bit of laundry that needs to get done i also have of course the planning that needs to get done and of course i have um, grocery shopping a big monthly grocery shopping so I'll do a haul with you guys when I get back I'm actually going to get ready to go right now because I like to go early it's currently eight it's currently eight o'clock and I want to get back because I like I said we got some stuff to do month uh, April is going to be a crazy month when I get back I'll do the haul and then we'll get into the planning portion of the video okay so now it's time for the haul this is in no particular order here because i didn't have time to put it in order but you saw i have some yogurt again picked up some coffee creamer i picked up some almond milk we have two original almond milks and then we have two vanilla flavored almond milks um this is what my kids drink we don't drink cow milk or anything like that so picked up some biscuits love the honey biscuits also just some bread we got buttermilk and honey wheat and then we got some bagels this is my first time trying the everything bagel so i'll let you guys know what it tastes like but you also got a pack of plain and then some hawaiian bagels then i picked up these little cute little easter ones this one is not really easter but giselle conned me into getting it she loves she loves unicorn then we just picked up some regular cream cheese and then the garden vegetable cream cheese for the bagels then i just have some cookie dough here just got the sugar cookie one and then the chocolate chip one also picked up some cinnamon rolls for like weekend breakfasts and stuff like that 
some fruit snacks then i had to bring up on snacks we literally had no snacks at all so i got the oreo mint thins the candy blast the chewy ones and then the party size golden oreo one also got this cheese it um, value pack never seen this well it says new mix right there but i've never seen that pack before i also got some um sandwich crackers to pack for their snack for school we got the peanut butter and honey and then the grilled cheese flavor i personally like the grilled cheese flavor it is so good moving on to some produce here we got strawberries we have some blueberries, some grape tomatoes for salads, some bananas. We have grapes. We have some um, peppers. <laughs> Jesus. So we have red grapes and green grapes. And then I picked up these cheese balls because the kids are going to be home soon for spring break. And I just wanted to make sure we had enough snacks. Also got this big thing of potatoes because it was on sale. Of course, you guys know that I juice, so I have some celery. Also picked up some green peppers, green bell peppers. We have some halos here, some apples. You guys know I only eat the red delicious apples, so I got a few of those. I got some cucumbers and some red onions. This produce will probably last us a week, maybe two at the most. Next up, we have a large pack of hack dogs because, like I said, the kids are going to be home soon for spring break. We got some cheese twists. Never seen these before. Just some single cheese, some quesadilla cheese for another quick lunch option. This is my first time using this brand. Also picked this big box of Rice Krispie treats. These are the minis. I didn't know I bought the minis, but I did. Um, we got some chips here. We have the original, again, Giselle conned me into buying some Funyuns for her. Um, we got more chips here. That's something she picked out as well. And then I just got some packs of seasoning. This one is so good. I had this before. You've probably seen this in another video, but it is so good. Then I picked up some core sides. So we got some cheddar broccoli. I feel like we got some chicken uh flavored rice as well and then we have some mexican rice and spanish rice because we are going to be doing a taco tuesday so that is what i picked up and these were i feel like they were on sale maybe two for a dollar or maybe 10 for 10 i don't remember then i got some oranges they love these little mandarin oranges some more chips plain chips ripple chips i have some golden corn here because i want to make some bowls tomato soup for me when i make grilled cheese sandwiches we got some pink salmon this is the boneless and skinless i got two packs of that then of course we got our mango juicy juice i picked up some more um granola and in the back here giselle have, have you seen a theme here <laughs> she got this ice cream and then i picked up the boys some um, dino nuggets so that's really good also got these pizzas for lunch these were the red I want to say red baron ones that are like three dollars really good for the price anyway picked up some oatmeal we also have some alfredo sauce here and some spaghetti sauce again a quick dinner option we have some more i call them breakfast bars but they're granola bars some yogurt oreo and m m yogurts and then i just read up on my steak and chop marinade you can literally put that on everything we have some breakfast sausages here then another crazy purchase donuts not crazy but the the easter ones are crazy i don't even know why i picked those up you guys know these are my drinks they're good for hydration and they taste good as well um, I got a few more of my P.F. Chang shrimp of firecracker. It's really good. Good lunch option. We got some Lay's chips, some pudding, some Sour Patch Jello for the boys because Giselle don't eat stuff like that. Some breakfast items. We got some French toast sticks, some more yogurt. Again, if you need a lactose yogurt, though, that brand is really good. We got some pepperonis, some tuna. We have the deli style tuna, like a whole lot of them because you can literally dress it up, dress it down, whatever. And then the sweet and spicy one. We also picked up some Lunchables. So we have the pepperoni pizza, turkey, cheese. I picked up some lunch meat for sandwiches, some turkey 
and roast beef. We have some turkey bacon because we were running low on that. Also got this cereal again. Don't go shopping with kids because they would just keep putting stuff in the cart. So I got some pancakes and some strawberry and cream yogurt. And then this is a new purchase for me is the egg whites. Um, I've never had just the carton of egg whites before, but I'll let you know how everything is. So now I'm just going to put everything away. This is everything that I got. Put everything away. All right, so you guys just seen everything that I got from the grocery store. Let's go ahead and um, start this whole planning thing. I am so excited for what's coming up. This is my first time doing anything like this. And uh, I'm just excited to be doing new things, taking new opportunities, just trying to scale this whole Rosie Homemaker brand into something powerful. For the month of April, I am going to be giving you a video every day. So the month of April is going to be my spring cleaning series. I have created a spring cleaning bingo and it's actually a 30 day challenge. And I'm going to show you here in a minute. Um, so you know exactly what I'm talking about. So basically I have compiled a list of 30 things for you to do around your home, 30 tasks to do around your home that involves like cleaning and decluttering. It is meant to do one task per day because again, you don't want to be overwhelmed when you're cleaning on top of everything that else that you have to clean, but you can do one per day. You can do multiple per day. It is totally up to you. And, but the goal at the end of the 30 days is to have a cleaner home. So that is the purpose of the spring cleaning bingo, um, 30 day challenge, if you will. Now I created it into a bingo because I just wanted to put a little fun twist on it because cleaning your home for 30 days doesn't sound too fun. Not to the average person, it doesn't sound very fun. But if you have incentives to keep going, I felt like that would just make it a little bit more fun. I hope I am explaining this well enough so you're gonna get it. So. I have made it into a bingo. So when you get bingo, you get bingo the regular way once you complete the task across or up and down. I don't think you can do diagonal because of, you know, how many tasks it is. It's not like uh, the boxes are gonna be even. And the boxes are not gonna be even for you to do um, like straight diagonal. So if you go across, side to side or up and down, you're supposed to treat yourself to, okay, you're supposed to treat yourself to something of your choice. For example, when I get bingo, I'm going to be treating myself to little things like an expensive bottle of wine. I can do a, a spa date. I can do a movie date. I can do a solo date. I can go out for the night. It's just supposed to be things that you actually enjoy that you wouldn't mind working towards, if that makes sense. And then at the end of the 30 days, because cleaning for 30 days is a challenge, that's why it's a 30, 30 day challenge, I am gonna be treating myself to a vacation. So that is how I'm going to keep myself motivated to keep going. But again, you can choose whatever you want to be. It can be extravagant. It can be something small, like a, a cheap day or cheap meal, or you work yourself up to a piece of candy. It doesn't really matter, you guys. It's for you to keep yourself motivated to keep going and clean your home. So, like I said, every day in the month of april i will be completing one of these tasks and posting it for you guys to see i really want you guys to um take this journey along with me because if you're watching me then you're into this kind of stuff like i am but <laughs> i definitely want to have you guys along with me because it makes it just more fun when you know you got people that's holding you accountable and people that's doing the journey in this challenge along with you. Because some of these things on the list that I have compiled is things that, you know, it might slip your mind. I know some of this stuff is not in my daily routine. Some of this stuff is not in my weekly routine. And some of this stuff is not even in my monthly routine. It should be, but it's not. Um, so I feel like that's what makes it a little bit more interesting. So let me show you what I have 
created. Okay, so this is the spring cleaning bingo 30 day challenge. It's a spring cleaning challenge. You don't have to do this for spring cleaning. It can be done any time of year. So if you're watching this in the middle of the year, summertime, or if you're watching it at Christmas time, it really doesn't matter. It's just really a 30 day challenge. And only because since I'm doing it in April, I named it the spring cleaning challenge. So this is what we're looking like. It's really cute. Of course, you can print it out in black and white if you don't want the color and stuff like that. But it's just a fun little neutral thing. So here are the tasks, some of the tasks that I have on here. So you move your furniture in vacuum, um, sanitize your phones, remotes, and other small devices. A lot of people don't do this on the regular, so it'll be fun. Um, well, not fun, but sanitary, sanitize, sanitary. Anyways, dust light fixtures in high areas, wash walls. Like we know, let's be honest with ourselves. We don't do this as often as we should do. Um, clean the air vents and change filters. This is something that needs to be done more frequently, especially in my house. Just look at this. What is in your mouth? Give me this. Mama. A big one for me, it would be to sanitize the toys because the amount of toys that they have. We got clean and organized entryways if you have it, or you can clean and organize whatever area that is cluttered, like your catch all area. Clean out your fridge and freezers. I do do this often. Well, not my freezer, but my fridge. I do kitchen drawers, clean the actual inside of the washing machine and the dryer. Um, wash curtains. I definitely need to do that more often since me and my kids suffer from allergies. Clean and disinfect all trash cans. Like, I don't do that that often. Um, just empty the trash, put another bag, and keep it moving. Disinfect light switches and doorknobs. Clean couch cushions, pillows, and throws. Go ahead and clean out your medicine cabinet. Shampoo and flip your mattresses. Clean all toilets and tubs. I'm talking about scrub them things down. Then uh, free choice is something that maybe I haven't listed on here, but you need to do. Mama. Let's see. All of your kitchen uh, appliances, shampoo, carpets, and mop the floors, purge closets, purge products. This can be anything from cleaning products to hair products, anything that we tend to hoard. Go ahead and go through and see what things you can get rid of. Let's just say they're too old, they're expired, you're not using it. Go ahead and get rid of it. We have clean the car, something I definitely need to be doing. Organize the bathroom cabinets, organize kitchen cabinets, jet wash the patio because springtime, we're going to be outside more. It's time to get that clean. Clean the baseboards, clean out your pantry or clean and organize your pantry. Dust blinds and wash windows. It can be inside and outside of the windows. And then deep clean the oven. This is the task for the 30 day challenge. So like I said, if you get bingo, you can go straight across and get bingo or you can just do up and down and then the incentives is just all for you. So that's what I have been working on and this is what we're gonna be doing in for the whole month of April. Another thing that I've been working on, I know you guys see this down here. I am creating a website slash blog basically uh so it's going to be rosiehomemaker.com and basically the purpose of this is just to keep you motivated i have a few things that i need to tweak but here is like the uh, just a little sneak peek i don't want to show you too much but this will launch on april 1st as well it has a lot of different things a lot of different resources like i said i am still putting the final touches on things but yeah so um get off of that because i'm not done yet but it will be done by april 1st it won't be perfect but i've been learning that done is better than perfect and i can always tweak it when it goes live so i'm not too concerned about that april 1st is the day you guys hold me accountable if you if this website is not up bang down my comment sections please and, and make me put it up because nine times out of ten if it's not up it's because it's not perfect to me but like i said i'm a work in progress and we're gonna you know make it work so 
with that being said that is like the work side of what i've been planning let's go ahead and get into like the home life planning all right so this is our quote unquote command center that's in the kitchen so on this command center we have a quote at the very top that says inhale exhale we also have some like wooden decor that i spray painted white and it has home you know live laugh, love type stuff we have this calendar here also have a basket um with another whiteboard on it and that's where we put things that we run out of for grocery like grocery lists and stuff like that you see the basket there is full of mail that's where we put the mail when we don't have time to sort it um the hooks that's attached to the basket they also um hold mask and keys and then at the very bottom there's a menu we rarely use it i need to get back in the habit of doing that but we rarely use that as of right now so this is where we put all of our upcoming dates and school appointments and things that we need to remember um, i also want to show you guys some new things that i picked okay. up from um the store some new cleaning products okay <laughs> okay so first thing first of course i picked up some gloves uh, because we're going to just be getting down and dirty and i want to start taking better care of my hands because they are starting to to me dry out and look you know a little older so um got the gloves got read up on some laundry sanitizer because again we are going to be more than just cleaning we're spring cleaning i picked up this thing i've never heard of this before it's from target it's the nine elements so it's supposed to be like one of those natural non-toxic cleaners i don't know how i'm going to like it because me personally i like chemicals but we are going to see this is what it's made with if you have used oh plant-based cleaners if you have used this before let me know how you like it this is the bathroom cleaner one so i'm gonna try that of course i read up on my everspring lemon and mint all-purpose cleaner read up on my fabric sanitizer because you know you guys know i use this every day and then a new pickup is this gain fabric for breeze i love the smell of gain so we're gonna see if i like this i just want to spray this on the couch and the curtains and stuff like that just to make the home smell better you guys know i have four kids and a dog so sometimes the smells can be a little overwhelming so that's that i also have also picked up these clinger what i call them clingers the lysol toilet bowl cleaner um i love it in the lavender scent it makes your bathroom smell really really good and it helps keep it clean absolutely love these picked up two packs of these also picked up some clinging clinging bleach gel the two pack absolutely love these two they're a little bit thicker than the rest of them then we have some cotton nail uh flushable wipes love these don't use baby wipes and then i have these bleach tablets that you put in the bowl okay you guys i think i'm gonna end this video right here because like i said we have a lot to do even though this is a monthly reset it still is sunday so i still need to like prepare for the week and i'm not gonna do that um because this video would be like 10 hours long this year but um i still need to get the kids and stuff ready for school tomorrow I, I have a lot of stuff that i need to prep for the week so we're just going to end this right here and i will see you guys on april 1st with a new website and a new challenge as always i really appreciate you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next one